Hey, what is going on guys? This is iReviews. In this video, I will show you the top 50 iOS 9 hidden features. iOS 9 allows you to mark up pictures on your emails. All you have to do is just tap the picture, hold it and now just click here markup and you can write anything you want on the pictures that you want to send on an email. On iOS 9, if you go to set the auto lock time, now you will have another option right here, it's 30 seconds. Now previously it used to be from 1 minute up to 5 minutes, but now you will also have 30 seconds. If you go to settings and go to battery, now you can enable a low power mode which will save the battery life of your device. Another cool feature of iOS 9 is that it allows you to zoom in on videos while they are playing. As you can see right here, the video is currently playing on the background and you can go ahead and zoom in and out from that video. When you go to battery under settings, you can see right here iOS 9 will give you suggestions on how to save battery life on your iPhone. You can see right here battery life suggestions, enable auto lock and also enable auto brightness. Now on Safari you can upload pictures directly from your iCloud. When you go to upload a picture, you will see here take a picture, photo library or you can go ahead and upload any of your pictures from your iCloud account to Safari. The emoji keyboard on iOS 9 now has all the flags from all the countries in the world. You can see right here, all the countries in the world will have their flag on the emoji keyboard on iOS 9. Now Siri has a lot of new voices. Now if you go to settings, go to general, go to accessibility, then you go to speech, enable here speak selection, you go to voices, then go to your language right here and you will see different kind of voices that you can choose for Siri. On iOS 9, when you open a link from an app like this, you can easily go back to that app by simply tapping this back button right here on the up left corner. You can easily delete alarms on your iOS 9 device. All you have to do is just swipe like this and you can delete easily your alarms. On iOS 9, now you can add a 6 digit passcode to your device. Now the previous iOS versions only had 4 digits, but on iOS 9 you can select a 6 digit passcode. When you're sending an email from iOS 9, now you can add attachments directly from your iCloud Drive. You just go here, add attachments and you can add any of your documents from your iCloud Drive to your email. On iOS 9, you can easily select pictures simply by sliding your finger through the pictures that you want to select like this and you can easily go ahead and select a lot of pictures with just a simple gesture iOS 9 lets you group notifications by app and also you can order them by recent or you can go ahead and order them manually. Apple has now removed the 5 pictures limit on the emails and now you can send more than 5 pictures on an email on iOS 9. The notes app on iOS 9 now has a recently deleted folder. If you go here, you will have all the notes that you have recently deleted. You can recover them or you can completely delete them from your device. On iOS 9, you can easily dismiss a picture on your camera roll simply by swiping it down like this. Now you can easily call contacts directly from the spotlight search. All you have to do is just search for the name of the contact and here you can message them or you can call them directly from the spotlight search. You can see right here when I tap on the keyboard, it won't show a preview of the key that I'm tapping. But you can change that by going to the settings, then go to keyboard and here you can enable character preview and now you can see it will show a preview of the key that I'm pressing. When you go to set a wallpaper on iOS 9, you have two choices. Here you can see you can set 
the wallpaper as still or perspective. You have two choices right here. You choose either one of them and then click here set wallpaper. If you go to settings then go to battery here it will show you the battery usage of your device and you can see if you tap here the clock icon it will show you the exact minutes how much you have used each of these apps. Now on iOS 9 you can change the settings of video recording. You can do that by going to settings, go to photos and camera and here you can go to record video or record slow mo, tap here and you can see here you can change the quality of the video. iOS 9 also features a new font which is called the San Francisco font is the same font that Apple used on Apple watches and now that font will come to iOS 9. On iOS 9 it's easier to see whether you're typing on lowercase or uppercase. You can see when I turn off the shift key all the letters will be on lowercase and when I tap it they all will be in uppercase. iOS 9 allows you to completely turn off the vibration on your device. You can do that by going to general go to accessibility and then here you have vibration if you go here you just turn this off and the vibration will completely be turned off on your device now you can easily hide multiple photos simply by selecting them like this and then just click here and you can hide these pictures hide three photos you can see you can easily hide these pictures if you enable low power mode on your ios 9 device when the battery of your device is low and then you plug it in, when your device gets charged more than 80% it will automatically turn off the low power mode. On iOS 9 if you have set a dynamic wallpaper when you turn on the low power mode you can see right here it will disable that dynamic wallpaper. On Safari when you go to reader mode you can now customize it. If you tap here you can see you can change the color of the background. You can also change the font on Safari. On iOS 8 we used to have the recent and the favorite contacts on the app switcher but now on iOS 9 you have them here on the search section. When you slide from the left side on your home screen you will have your favorite and your recent contacts right here iOS 9 now allows you to set custom vibrations for your alarms. When you go to set an alarm just go to sound right here go to vibration and you can pick a custom vibration or you can create a new vibration right here just tap there and you can create your own vibration. Now on Safari you can request the desktop site from the share menu just tap here just slide like this and you can see here request desktop site. The notification center on iOS 9 now has a new widget find friends you can add your friends to the notification center on your iOS 9 device. iOS 9 also has a new voice dictation interface. As you can see right here the voice dictation interface has changed from the previous iOS versions to iOS 9. On the notes app on iOS 9 you can also use a ruler. If you go here then here you have a ruler just tap on it. It will show up here you can move it anywhere you want and now you can draw straight lines like this. iOS 9 now has a new video scrubber which is placed here at the bottom of the page. You can see right here a whole new video scrubber on iOS 9. You can now search for words on pages in Safari by going to the share menu then just go here find on page and you can search for any word you want. Now on iOS 9 when you tap the shift key it will change all the letters to uppercase or lowercase depending whether the shift key is on or off. But if you want to turn off that feature you can do that by going to settings go to general go to accessibility and then you just go to keyboard and here you can enable show lowercase but if you want to disable this feature just disable the switch right here. Now if sometimes when you go to safari it annoyed you by redirecting you to other pages 
Now you won't have that problem on iOS 9 because Safari now will block it and won't redirect you from any site to another site. iOS 9 allows you to add voice memos to notes. You just go here to a note, tap there, hit notes right here and now it will save this voice memo to notes and you can go here and you can play these voice memos directly here from the notes app. Now on the notes app on iOS 9 you can also organize your notes by creating folders. You can do that simply by tapping here new folder, enter a name right here and you can create folders on the notes app. Now you know that feature on iOS that you can shake your device to undo. Now if you don't want to use that feature you can disable it on iOS 9. To do that you just go to settings, go to general, accessibility and then you just go here and then you have here shake to undo. You can turn it on or if you don't want to use it just turn it off with the switch right here iOS 9 now has rounded dialog boxes. You can see right here the dialog box is rounded. It looks pretty cool and it looks better than the square dialog boxes that we used to have on previous iOS versions. When you save a link on the notes app on iOS 9 it will show you a preview of that website just like this one right here. The health app on iOS 9 will track more of your data. If you go to the health app, you can see here, if you go to all, you can see here all the data that the health app will track on your iOS 9 device. Now you know Safari on iOS shows you your frequently visited sites, but you can disable that on iOS 9 simply by going to settings, go to Safari, and here you have frequently visited sites, you can disable that switch and it won't show them no more on Safari. The iBooks app on iOS 9 has a new auto night theme which you can enable and you can see right here it will make it easier for you to read something on iBooks during night time. In Safari on iOS 9 if you want to print a page it will show you a print preview of that page. Here you can see if I tap here to print this page you can see right here it will show me a print preview of the page that I'm about to print. If you don't like the new Apple Music Connect feature on the Apple Music app you can now disable it by going to general then go to restrictions and just disable Apple Music Connect and now you won't have it on your music app. When you're on the lock screen of your device all you have to do is just double tap the home button and it will show you your Apple Pay cards right here. Now I don't have mine set up so it won't show anything but you only have to double tap on the home button when you're on lock screen and it will show you your credit cards right here. So these are the top 50 hidden features of iOS 9. For more iOS 9 videos please make sure you subscribe. Also go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You will find a link to my Twitter account in the description of this video.